Welcome to this brief introduction to Open Badges version 3.0, the latest version of Open Badges, the gold standard for verifiable, portable, and data rich digital credentials. Digital badges are revolutionizing how we award and recognize achievements and skills in the digital age. Open badges are digital badges that can be awarded for a variety of achievements, ranging from earning an award, completing a degree, or demonstrating a particular skill or competency. Open badges are designed with rich metadata to be both human readable and machine verifiable and are cryptographically signed and tamper evident, meaning you can trust and verify the information contained in a badge. Open badges are also created to be portable, giving the badge earner the control of their badge and the agency to store and share when and where they want. Open badges Badges issued using the Open Badges version 3.0 standard are packed with data that anyone can understand and verify. This transparency and portability make them valuable for learners, educators, and employers alike. The Open Badges version 3 standard and its counterpart, the Comprehensive Learner Record Standard version 2, take advantage of the latest technology, offering enhanced capabilities and features over previous versions. Open Badges version 3 introduces decentralized identifiers, or DIDs, to the choice of identifiers, providing learners with greater ownership and control over their data. DIDs enable learners to manage their badges directly while maintaining privacy and security. Open Badges version 3.0 utilizes the verifiable credentials data model to enhance security using cryptographic signatures and verification. Verifiable credentials ensure the authenticity and integrity of badges, making them more tamper-proof and trustworthy. This newest version of Open Badges supports a wide range of bad types, as well as content data types, including multimedia content, making badges more versatile and informative. This enhanced flexibility also allows for greater interoperability across different platforms and applications. Open Badges version 3 enables the inclusion of richer evidence and context to support badge assertions. This provides a more comprehensive understanding of the skills and accomplishments represented by the badge. OBV3 also integrates with skill frameworks, allowing badges to be aligned with specific skills and competencies, facilitating the recognition of badges within industry recognized standards. Lastly, Open Badges version 3 and Comprehensive Learner Record version 2 were co-designed to improve interoperability and ease of implementation. Open Badges designed using the 3.0 specification contain all the same information as previous versions, but the data model has been enhanced in several ways. Open Badges version 3 was designed using the W3C's Verifiable Credential Data Standard, ensuring the data models are aligned and compatible to help ensure badges issued are machine readable, privacy respecting, cryptographically signed, and tamper evident. The assertion, also known as the achievement credential, connects the achievement to the person that received it, declares when the badge was issued, and identifies how the badge can be verified. Open Badges version 3 provides additional metadata fields, extending the value to badges to earners. Open badges are expressed using JSON or JSON-LD, allowing a consistent way for machines to be able to understand the credential data as well as reference any linked data. Each building block in an open badge is expressed using a series of required and optional data fields nested under the achievement credential or assertion. The specification is also designed to be extensible enabling organizations to add additional data fields to meet their unique needs. A cryptographic proof or signature ensures the authenticity and integrity of the credential. Open Badges version 3 specifies two types of proofs that can be used to sign credentials. The first is a JSON web token. In this format, the credential is encoded into a JWT which is then signed and encoded as a JWS. The JSON web token proof is called an external proof because the proof wraps the credential object. The second proof format is the linked data proof. 
in this format, the credential is signed and the signature is used to form a proof object, which is then appended to the credential. These are called embedded proofs because the proof is embedded in the data. Note, in order to opt for this format, you must use the Data Integrity EDDSA Crypto Suites version 1. At least one proof mechanism and the details necessary to evaluate that proof must be expressed for a credential to be verifiable. Multiple proof mechanisms may be used. The first step to setting up an open badge is to define the achievement. Called a badge class in Open Badges version 2, the achievement includes the description of the badge and the type of achievement, such as skill, competency, or other recognition. Additional data can be added, such as the criteria required for earning the badge, the alignment to skills, competency, or other published frameworks, and the assessment used to demonstrate earning the badge. When someone has earned the badge, you build the assertion by connecting the issuer and the proof to the achievement and the recipient. Open Badges also defines data describing the results of the criteria or assessment and allows for embedded or linked electronic forms of evidence, such as documents or images. Through an optional process known as baking, the badge image and the JSON are combined to create a complete Open Badges version 3.0 credential. The issued badge is now ready for the earner and can be shared or downloaded. Additional information, including an implementation guide and the complete Open Badges version 3.0 specification containing all the information required to implement the standard, is available from the OneEdTech website by going to oneedtech.org slash openbadges. On this site, be sure to look for information on how your platform can become OneEdTech certified. Learning providers and education institutions will also find information and sample language you can use in your RFP process. Thank you for watching this brief introduction to Open Badges version 3.0. To learn more about how you can participate with OneEdTech, visit oneedtech.org.